We all know how successful Lucifer has become over the past five years. Ever since the trailer for the first season came out way back in 2015, we fell in love with our favorite devil. And even though they faced some hardships in recent years, they're back at it again. But enough of that. Today we want to know what do the stars of Lucifer spend their money on and how much of it do they actually have? So join us today as we tell you the Lucifer cast is richer than you think. Let's go for it. Kevin Alejandro, net worth $2 million. If that name is not familiar to you, maybe you'll know him as Dan. The guy has really made a name for himself by playing this role on Lucifer. He is currently 44 years old, meaning that he was born in 1976 on the 7th of April. And Lucifer is not the only famous series he's appeared in. Kevin was also part of Southland, Parenthood, and don't forget that he played Jesus Velasquez in True Blood, as well as portraying the role of Brother Blook in the famous Arrow series. All of these roles made him a net worth of around $2 million, which means he is pretty much free to do whatever he wants with his life. He lives a humble life in Los Angeles, California. Oh, and if you didn't know it already, Alejandro was born in a Mexican-American family in a small town in Texas. In order to pursue acting, he had to sell everything he had so he could afford to move to LA and become a professional actor. Although he's currently pretty famous, he doesn't spend his money lavishly. He lives in a medium-sized house in LA with his wife Leslie and his one son. As far as partnerships are concerned, there seems to be some sort of affiliation between him and Sister Betsy's Surf Wax. Maybe he's been paid by the company to promote their product and earn a hefty commission. Means love. You slept with my wallet! You bastard! Whoa. Amy Garcia, net worth $2 million. Believe it or not, Ella Lopez is actually 41 years old. She was born on the 28th of November, 1978, in Chicago, Illinois. She was born to a Mexican mother and Puerto Rican father. Amy wanted to perform from a young age, and economics and finance were her strong side. After graduating college, she wanted to go where the money was, and she found a job as a mutual fund analyst in Brooklyn, New York. But Amy soon realized she wasn't in it for the money. Garcia hated her job. That's why she finally made the decision to move to LA and pursue acting as a full-time career in 2002. Her initial roles were quite insignificant, but then she appeared on The George Lopez Show, where she played George Lopez's niece. She and Lopez grew really close, and since then, they're like family. Some of the other important roles in her career include Jamie Batista in Dexter. It was because of this role that she smashed that like button if you haven't done that already. But in all seriousness, that she was nominated for a SAG award. She is currently located in California where she owns a home. Her current role as Ella Lopez in Lucifer has allowed her to live a good lifestyle. For example, instead of celebrating New Year's at home or in some club, Amy actually went on a tropical island where she had the time of her life. Plus, and her and AJ Mendez have taken on the entrepreneurial spirit. They've decided to create Scrappy Heart Production, the platform that will allow Latin American writers to share their written stories. In a deal, he's an angel. Ah, oh, does he have wings? He does again, actually. <laughs> you think uh, he can give me a ride? <laughs> Leslie Ann Brandt, net worth one to five million dollars. Leslie Ann Brandt is one of the rare actresses that managed to come from South Africa and climb the heights of the American movie industry. She was born in Cape Town, South Africa on the 2nd of December in 1981, which makes her 38 years old. She then immigrated to New Zealand alongside her younger brother. Initially, she worked as an information technology recruitment consultant, but then she turned to modeling for a brief period of time and eventually landed in the field of acting, which ended up being her full-time career. To perfect her craft, she took acting lessons, which obviously paid off. Leslie rose to fame thanks to many of her roles like Nevia, who was a slave girl in the TV series Spartacus Blood and Sand. Her most famous role is Maze in Lucifer. Thanks to her talents as an actor, she has managed to earn a staggering net worth of between one and five million dollars, with some sources stating that her net worth is around two million. She is a big dresses and she likes to spend money on clothing and accessories. In order to earn extra money in the form of a side hustle, she is constantly promoting brands like Sessa, Shemansky, and others. Huh. And to think I almost killed you in your sleep that one time. 
Rachel Harris, net worth $4 million. Being born and raised in Worthington, Ohio, Harris graduated from Otterbein College with a degree in fine arts in theater. Since then, she has been known as a comedian and an actress. You might not have known this, but Rachel Harris actually performed with the Los Angeles Improvisational Comedy Team. When it comes to acting, her most prominent role has been Dr. Linda on Lucifer. But that's not all. Rachel has also appeared in shows like Reno 911, The Good Wife, Suits, New Girls, and many others. When it comes to her finances, she and her ex-husband Christian Haybell, who is a violinist, knew what they were doing. In 2014, they bought a New York City apartment for approximately $1.7 million. Then, in 2018, the couple bought a home in Studio City, California. The house set them back a whopping $2.2 million, but don't you worry. This year, they listed the house for sale and managed to get $2.3 million for it, which has netted them a profit of $100,000. And even though the couple got along when it came to finances, they really weren't meant for each other. And in 2019, Rachel Harris filed for divorce. Their two boys, Henry and Otto, will have to deal with their parents' divorce from a young age. The devil did a good deed today. Oh, <laughs> no need to call it that. Lauren German, net worth $4 million. Although we know her as Detective Chloe Decker, the world heard of Lauren when she was cast to appear in the 2003 horror movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre and then Hostel Part 2. She has also played a pretty significant role in the CBS drama Hawaii Five-0. Currently, she is making headlines with the role of Chloe, the forbidden love of the devil himself. The hefty salary she has received from the show has allowed this star to live the life of her dreams. And even though she's not that big of a spender, she does like to negotiate with real estate agents. For example, in 2015, she purchased this massive three-bedroom, three-bathroom, 1930s ranch-style home under market value. And she managed to bring the price down with her savvy tactics. She purchased the house for $1.521 million. Only two years later, the price of the house jumped to a whopping $1.749 million. That's around a $200,000 profit. The house is 2,445 square feet, and it's located in the Valley Village area of LA. To rent this beautiful residence every month, you'll have to shell out $8,900. With marble floors, two bedroom, a two-person soaking tub, and a glass shower, this house is a steal at such a price. And that's not all. Knowing that she's the biggest dog lover out there, she is constantly promoting dog products like the dog food brand Honest Kitchen and the dog accessory companies Banded Pines, as well as Bessie and Barney. We didn't. Oh, did we ever? But I'm pretty sure we made Rosemary's baby. Tom Ellis, net worth $6 million. We can never exclude him from our list. How can we? He's our favorite devil. That we could just eat him up. But those mushy feelings aside, Tom Ellis is an absolute brilliant actor who gave life to the Lucifer series. Many people fell in love with him before they did with the series. They just love to see Lucifer Morningstar roast people and live like a king here on Earth, indulging in all of Earth's hedonistic desires. But all of that comes with a price, around $50,000 per episode, that is. And knowing that there have been 67 episodes so far, that means Tom has managed to bag $3.3 million just from Lucifer. No wonder he's been living the good life. Despite having all this money, he can't really indulge in food. He has to keep a very close eye on what he eats and put inside his body because his role demands it. And to sweeten all that sweat, he has created his very own workout plan on the Playbook app. From what we could find, Tom drives the 2019 Audi Q8, which goes for around $70,000. And previously, he got a gift from Audi UK in the form of a gorgeous Audi A3 S line. Plus, for vacation, he visited France and Germany in the past year. It's already been processed, and I've written you a song. Ready? Crime solving devil, it makes sense. Don't overthink it. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which of these mansions or cars would you like to own one day? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.